You know, we truly do live in a world within worlds. There are some things that are going on in this world, it's difficult to comprehend how they're real. Right now, you have access to just over 1% of what you know to be the World Wide Web. In an ocean of what is known as the Deep Web. And in the darkness of this ocean, in the abyss, we have the Dark Web, or Shadow Web. A digital link to the global black market and a high-speed internet tunnel to hell. A place where if you go there, it may be hard for you to get back. Years ago, if you wanted to visit a website, there wasn't a website where you could go do an index search to find it. You needed to know the website's address, or you needed to know a web page that linked to the website. Over the years, a division was formed separating the non-index websites and everything that is found through search engines. Because let's face it, we Google everything. But Google will only show you a tiny portion of what actually exists. It's controlled, it's monitored, it's policed. But with all the tens of thousands of websites being created and destroyed, the deep web is virtually endless. Now many of these unlisted web pages are just unlisted and can be visited by simply typing the web address in the address bar of your normal web browser, if you know the address. But there are many sites, many sites that are required for you to have a special software like Tor or Freenet to view and access. And then there are some where you need an invitation with instructions on it on how to get to the website or a hacker. But not all sites are filtered to that degree. Now, what Tor does is it allows its users to browse sites of the deep web while maintaining their anonymity. This allows people to do just about anything they want online without being tracked down. Now, you need to take some serious security precautions before you go cruising the deep web and you need to not use Windows while doing it. Just because you can't see the people who run these sites doesn't mean they can't see you. In fact, these madmen make it their business to know who is viewing their site. They say, curiosity killed the cat. Well, this is the one time you need to take that saying to heart. This is your warning, folks. Do not toy with things that you do not understand. And it would be within your best interest to steer clear of this deep web. And I'm going to tell you why. When using browser software like Tor to explore the deep web, you're going to hit sites that end not in .com, not .org, or .net, but .onion. And the domain name to these sites usually start with random letters and numbers ending with .onion. For example, in the address bar, the domain name for one of these sites would read something like xyzr2316.onion. When you want to purchase something on the deep web, you don't use a credit or a debit card or money orders or wire transfers. You use bitcoins, an untraceable form of internet currency. One bitcoin is usually equal to $239. This is what is used to make virtually all deep web transactions. Now, this is where the video gets disturbing because I'm about to tell you what you'll find on the deep dark web. Many of us are used to seeing strange, weird, and creepy photos and videos, but the deep web holds photos and videos that are the strangest and creepiest as
as well as the most violent and sick. There is a website that catalogs the photos of stillborn babies, propped up to look alive as some creepy horror music plays in the background. 80% of the deep web is saturated with photos and videos dedicated to child abuse. I'm not talking about photos and videos of children being beaten. I'm talking about photos and videos of child porn, rape, and murder. There are photos and videos of people being beat to death, stabbed, shot, even beheaded along with people being cooked alive and women being literally barbecued. I shit you not. There is what is called crush porn, where you can watch women dress up in anything you want, talk dirty to cute little animals and kittens and bunnies, and watch them as they stomp these poor creatures to death in high heel stilettos. Now. How far gone do you have to be where this stuff turns you on? God help us. Aside from being able to purchase illegal firearms, drugs, fake IDs, passports, stolen PayPal accounts, stolen credit cards, etc., you can purchase some of the weirdest and sickest, sickest products like do-it-yourself bisectomy kits and sex dolls in the form of infants. You can even buy items made from human flesh. I'm not making this shit up, folks. You can even purchase how-to instruction manuals on just about any disturbing thing you can think of. From terrorism and overthrowing your government to instructions on how to be a pedophile and abduct children. As well as how to worship Satan and some demons. Yes, there are such manuals. Not to mention sites that fund, perform, and document human experiments. Truth is stranger than fiction, folks. There are sites where you can hire thieves, hackers, hitmen. Yes, hitmen. There was even a crowdfunding site that set up the bounties on the heads of your favorite political figures. Very scary indeed. The deep web is home to chat rooms and forums that attract the most evil people on the planet. People living underground, entire families, people confessing to theft, rape, murders, all types of shit. Shit that would make you want to throw on a bat suit and hunt these freaks down. There are organizations and cults, some satanic, that are formed on the deep web and use it as a tool for recruitment and congregation. There is even a network for cannibals who want to eat people or be eaten themselves. What the fuck? But probably the most horrifying thing that exists in the dark web is its red rooms. These are basically live streams of people being tortured, raped, and murdered in front of an audience. And the audience pays to have whatever they want happen to these people. Not just to adults, but to children and infants as well. They also have live streams of people having sex with corpses. The crazy part is, many of these criminals are poor gangsters that do these things for just a few hundred dollars. Now, you can think you're this ace hacker that can slip in and out of any network undetected, but once you get that far in the dark web, the people who own and run these demonic sites know who you are and where you are. Go watch the movie Eyes Wide Shut. It is part of their job, their business, to know all who are the witnesses to their crimes. You will be tagged and monitored, and possibly set up to be robbed or abducted. This is not a joke. This is not shit you want to go looking for, folks. I mean, these people have the ability to take snapshots of you through your webcam without you knowing. There are hackers who have stumbled onto these sites and have witnessed ritual murders and live streamed games of Russian roulette. I mean, the horror stories they tell are crazy to say the least. I'm telling you folks, this is a realm, a world you do not want to enter into. A lot of that stuff will leave you morally and emotionally, not to mention psychologically scarred. The madmen who do these things folks, these criminals, they're all around us, and they look and act just like any normal person you may know. 
and they are arrested and imprisoned regularly. And then there are those who are not. My advice, stay off the deep web, folks. Because none of this madness and mayhem will ever stop until people stop going there. The more people they have floating around the deep web, the larger the ocean for these madmen to hide in.